Okay, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about uh, an overview of all the welding, all the different welding processes. So we're going to start with the least advanced and move up to the more advanced welding processes. So to start out with, uh, what a lot of people start out welding with is an oxyacetylene torch like this. And as you can see on this torch, uh, you've got the uh, the valves to turn on your uh, your acetylene and to turn on your oxygen. And uh, what you do with this is you heat the metal up slowly. Uh, you get a, you get a nice uh, you got to set your flame correctly, but you you heat the metal up slowly with this, and you add what's called a filler rod. And this is what the filler rod is. It's just a uh, it's a, spe a specific kind of metal that you can buy. It's called RG45 welding rod. But uh, this, uh, uh, what you do is you heat the metal up and you dip the rod. And so this is this is probably the most uh, uh, least advanced, or it is the most least advanced welding process. But I will say that it is uh, probably the hardest to learn because it's uh, it's very difficult to control the torch and to dip the uh, the welding rod at the same time. Okay, and the second process is the MIG welding process. And the reason I put this at number two as far as being uh, uh, the second most advanced is because MIG welding really is an easy process to learn. And for beginner welders, it's the easiest process to learn. So with MIG, you have a, a gun like this. And what happens with the gun is that when you press the trigger on the gun, the electrode comes out of the uh, of the wire drive in the machine, and the gas around the electrode starts to flow, the shielding gas. And it's a constantly fed wire. All you have to do is pull the trigger, and that's what makes this process so easy to learn, is that you, you really just pull the trigger and you're welding. But, I mean, it, it goes a lot deeper than that, but that's a simplified version. And the next welding process that I want to show you is arc welding. And this is a stinger from my arc welder. And I actually don't have a 220 volt right now where I'm at, so I don't have it plugged in. But uh, uh, obviously the cord, uh, the cable would be hooked up to this. But uh, with arc welding, you use a, uh, uh, arc welding is also known as stick welding. You use a stick electrode. And this is, this is the electrode. I'm just showing you an example. Uh, of the electrode and what you'll have. So you've probably seen this on TV where you see welders that are, that are, that are putting the, uh, the welding rod to the metal and you see the arc going. That's stick welding and it's a little more advanced to learn this technique because um, you've got to really, the, the rod is burning down slowly so you've really got to make sure that you're keeping your arc length at a correct distance uh, from the workpiece and so uh, it's not like MIG where you just put the the gun at one length and just uh, pull the trigger. It's a little more tricky than that. So, um, and the last welding process I want to talk about is TIG. Uh, TIG stands for tungsten inert gas, and TIG is a, TIG is a lot like oxyacetylene welding in that you've got a, uh, a torch and you've got a filler rod. But the difference between oxyacetylene and TIG is that with oxyacetylene, you're using gas and you're heating the metal up with gas. With the TIG torch, you're using an arc to melt the metal. So, uh, but the, but the, uh, the process is the same. You're, you're dipping the rod in the metal and that is, that's creating the, uh, the, the molten weld puddle. So, um, so TIG is a little more advanced and it's used in processes that, that need to be really, really precise. And so uh, we're not going to be touching on TIG. Uh, or arc welding. Uh, we might be touching a little bit on oxyacetylene, um, but that, that's in another course. So uh, that's going to be it for this video, and I'll see you in the next video.